This camp has been a refuge for 56-year-old Maud Mashabe and his seven children for a little more than a week. Their home was in Chomia in eastern Deir, Congo. It's destroyed now and they daren't go back. What made me take my family and flee here is the violence. I fled because they started attacking us with machetes, burning our homes. Most in this camp in southwestern Uganda have similar stories. They come with machetes and guns. They even have children and open them up. That's why we crossed the lake. The northeastern DR Congo has long been troubled by militia and rebels. In recent months, it's grown far worse, thanks mainly to tribal rivalry. The violence in the provinces of Ituri and North Kivu is on a scale not seen since 2017. The UN Refugee Agency says tens of thousands have been displaced by the latest attacks. Around 60,000 have come through here since December. Some claim neither the Congolese police nor the military would protect them. We were with the military, but they said they are not allowed to fire their weapons. We were shocked. They were supposed to be protecting us. The United Nations says it is difficult to verify these stories. Aid workers struggle to get access to the region, but they say it is clear the DRC is facing a catastrophe. And the likes of Maud Mashabe and his children have little prospect of going home. Robert Nagila, CGTN, Uganda. Now, Lindy, uh, about two weeks ago, over a period of about three days, you had over 4,000 people arriving in Uganda seeking refuge from the violence in that country. We've been there for the last three days, and at least on average, every single day, you had at least two boats arrive every single day. And we are told that uh, overnight as well, uh, another boat load of refugees arrived, just showing how complicated the situation is on the other side. Now, whether chief can be uh, achieved anytime soon remains to be seen, Lindsay. Mm, absolutely, indeed. Some harrowing realities faced by millions of people there uh, in the DRC. Thank you so much. Robert Nagila joining us there live from Kampala.